Hi, I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this very cool silhouetted shadow effect in HitFilm Express for free. All right, so the key to this effect is going to be a fairly rarely used effect and it is under the keying and it is the difference key. Now, what you ask is the difference key. Well, the difference key in theory is supposed to find out and key out the difference between two different things. So for example, let's say I have this um, video that I'm making and it's just of the of the street, right? And there's nothing going on on the street, okay? And then, oh my goodness, what happens? After a little bit, then a car comes driving by, and I think, ooh, it'd really be cool if I could key out that car, right? So I make myself a new composite shot, and I say, okay, let's make it five seconds, and I bring in my clean plate, right? And I bring in my car driving, okay? And I know that that car is driving by. Now, I could rotoscope that out and the whole night, but you know what? Made it, what if I just use the difference key? In theory, in theory, because the car is different than all the pixels behind it, it should detect, okay, these are different. We're going to key that and we're going to cut everything else out, right? So if I drag the key in, okay, and I open it up and I source the clean plate, then Except if you look, you can see that isn't, it's in theory, it sounds good, but in reality, it's not that good. Okay. And if I were to actually like add, um, you know, a plain layer, uh, so that you can get a better look at what that looks like, you know, you would like to see that the whole thing get cut out, but it's not really cut out. So it doesn't work very well as a result. Most people don't end up using it, but we're going to use the advantage of it in that it isn't very good at what it does to create this really cool effect. So I have this footage of me just sort of playing with some uh, Eskrima sticks, uh, practicing some of the Filipino martial arts techniques that I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that footage and I'm going to make it into a composite shot. So here it is. In this composite shot, I'm going to right click on that and duplicate it. And then the duplicate footage, I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to say, make that into its own composite shot and click OK. So now I have two composite shot, one that's nested into the other, and they are both exactly the same. So I can turn off the one. But if I were to go ahead and apply the color difference key, I mean, not the color difference key, the, the, the difference key and I were to source that, then guess what? It would key itself completely out because it's not any different. Everything is exactly the same, right? But if I come over here and I make a small change to this footage, then it would create a, a little bit of a difference. And here's the change I'm going to make. I'm going to take that footage and I'm going to slide it one frame off, okay? So now when the one footage is here, this footage is there, right? And there's a difference there, okay? And it's not a perfect key, but it's pretty close. It's pretty good. And so when I come back, you can see that I am showing just the difference. And if I sort of run that, then you can tell it's sort of this very cool looking uh, abstract art kind of a thing, right? If you're into that sort of a thing, all right? So now, what I can do is, is I can find the hue, saturation, and lightness effect. I can drop it on that. And if I open it up under the master control, I can up the lightness to the maximum, and I can drop the saturation down to the negative 100. And then it will be either pure white or transparent. And that's it, right? And so now I have this very cool effect that genuinely could be used as a mat or it, a key of its own. It can be laid over uh, another footage or whatever. Now, how did I create that sort of glowing look? Well, what I did was I went in and I found a zoom blur effect and I created a little bit of a look here by just upping that zoom blur until I felt like it, it 
it looked pretty cool, right? And the next thing you know, I had this very interesting silhouetted shadow effect. Now, next video, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this same technique, but I am going to use this as a mat and using the displacement key, you will see this effect. Yes, it is the predator camouflage effect. If you want to try that, if you think you can figure it out on your own, you maybe you can, but in other and if you don't, I will show it to you in the next video. So, if you have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.